All right, John, they've cleared the hurdles from the track time now for the 100 meters. Christian Coleman, who went pro this last year, was our collegiate champion last year. He has the collegiate record and the meet record. Jalen Bacon has the best amongst collegians at 997. Hayward Field record 977. There's Cameron Burrell, his senior season anchor of the twice now NCAA champion four by 100 meter relay and now record holder. But boy, they need to do everything right if they're gonna have a chance at this team title. Looking back at Burrell in his semi. Well, Cameron Burrell has never won an individual title at the NCAA championships. He's so consistent, always the best starter in the group. Here we get a chance to look at the ACC champion Andre Ewers. He's been under 10 flat a couple of times this year. Second fastest collegiate this season. Ewers, the Florida State junior, he's happy just to be in the sub-10 club. I knew I was capable of going sub-10. It's a matter of putting my race together. And going into this weekend, I wouldn't say there is pressure if anything else i'm excited to race against these great athletes because it brings the best out of you it's the ncaa viewers from jamaica moved to this country at age 12 but still retains a little bit of the accent he won his heat in 10 flat with not a lot of help from the wind and he is hoping that he can hold off cameron burrell but the cougs have three finalists including elijah hall who ran a very fine semifinal race and ran a great leg on their relay earlier. Well, Houston's been resting him late in the outdoor season just so he'd be ready for the championships. They decided not to run him in the 200 meters, which I think is probably his best event. Watch him to make a late move in this race. He reaches top speed around 75, 80 meters. Paul won both the 60 and the 200, the indoor NCAAs, setting a collegiate record in the 200. The third Houston Cougar in this group, Mario Burke, in lane six. He ran 10-10 in the semifinals. Sir. Quick gun, and Burrell reacts well to it. Raven Gillespie of Oregon is there. Now here comes Cameron Burrell. Burrell is now in control. It's going to be Cameron Burrell and Elijah Hall. One, two for the Cougs. Boy, did they need that. Try to pick up where Mario Burke finished. Andre Ewers ends up third. 18 points plus whatever Mario Burke did. It may not be enough after that terrible fall by Brian Barraza in the steeplechase, but Cameron Burrell has an individual title under his belt now. Well, Cameron Burrell, I said he's the start. He's the best starter of the group, but he also has incredible strength. He'll run a leg on the four by four relay, and you see, just to the top of him, Elijah Hall starts to make a nice move. Andre Ewers did all he could, but it was all camera Burrell. Congratulations to him on his first individual NCAA title. Ewers just did not have it there to hold off Hall. Mario Burke ended up getting eighth, so 19 points for Houston in that 100 meters. But more importantly for Cameron Burrell in his senior season, the last meet of his collegiate career, he wins the individual 100 meters, followed by his teammate Elijah Hall. Andre Ewers ends up third. And John is with the winner. All right, Dwight, uh, matching father and son titles now. His dad, Leroy Burrell, won in 1990. Cam, you finally have this, your last collegiate meet. What's it mean to win this thing? Man, this means the absolute world to me. You know, I've been through so much to get to this point. And, you know, it literally runs in the family now. So, you know, my mother's the NCAA champion. My father's the NCAA champion. So now I get that same honor. Now tell me they're good parents and they didn't hold that over your head. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you know, I've always had, you know, track and field was always something I wanted to do as a child. They never forced me into the sport. This is something that I've always wanted to do when I put my heart and my mind into this game. And now all this hard work's paying off. I added up uh, one, two, eight. That's 19 points for the Cougs. Big. Huge. Huge. This is, you know, this meet for us is about unity. You know, we wanted to be coming to this meet a family. And, you know, we're going to, no matter what the ups and downs we had this meet, that's what we're going to do. And that one, this one was for about how I dedicate this race to my teammate, Brian Barraza, because he left his heart on that track for us. And so I just wanted to run it for him.
Tough fall for Barraza. Big win for Cam Burrell and the Cougars. For those of you who might not remember, Michelle Finn, pretty good sprinter in her day, that's his mom. So a lot of great track and field genes in Cam Burrell, and finally now with an individual NCAA title.